Well, I just had a Zoom meeting with my current class of kindergartners. It's wonderful to see all of their smiling faces. But I miss everybody and I really wish that you were right here with me because I would take you on a walk with me. So I'm going to take you for a walk today to the Bay Forest, which is another wonderful place near the school that we walk to regularly. Let's go. This is one of the few trees that stays green all year that doesn't have needles and cones. It has these wonderful fragrant leaves and right now you can see, can you see? Right now you can see it's starting to make some flowers and later those flowers will turn into little nuts that squirrels and some people love to eat. If you're a person, you have to roast them before you dry them out and roast them before you eat them. But squirrels, they, they usually get to them first. They gather them all up and put them in a good hiding spot, like a nest up in a big tree like this one. Some of you I know have climbed this tree and have found the sound of the doorway into the nest, right? Let's see if we can share with everybody else. We're climbing the tree. You see the nest? You see the doorway? Hello in there. Hello, anybody home? Oh well, the lights are out. Okay, well here we are in the bay forest, and the bay tree is also called the bay laurel, California laurel, or uh, pepperwood. This is what the leaves look like. You can see they're very, very waxy, slender, and smooth. And if you could rub it and smell it, it has a very strong uh, scent that uh, some people don't like. It might give you a headache. I like it. It has a really clean smell to me. And we know that um, wood rats who make their nests in the forest around here, they'll bring bay leaves into their nest and change the bay leaf bedding every so often because um, that smell helps keep fleas and other bugs away. So you can see this bay tree is growing straight up. The trunk comes straight up from the ground. But this bay tree, it fell over a long time ago. And the roots, you can see the roots are kind of up in the air. And the trunk fell down, all of the trunks. The trunks fell down onto the ground, but the branches that were still on the upside became new trunks. So this part that used to be a branch going out, when the tree fell over, it became a trunk going up. And bay trees can do that. And that's cool for us because it makes it really easy to climb on and play in. So here's here's our bay forest. What else is going on? You can see there's all sorts of places to climb and hide and peek through. What's this worm doing? He's climbing a tree. Well, I'm glad 
Something else is out here taking a walk in the rain. You can see these bay trees are so fun with all their caves and great places to sit and even take naps. What do you think? Could you take a nap in a wet, mossy bed like this? I don't know. I see something else up here that I want to show you. Let's walk up there to that oak tree. It's a different kind of tree. Now the bay tree, the bay forest, that's behind us. And that stays green all year long. The oak tree, you can see on the ground here, the oak tree, its leaves get brown and die and fall off in the fall. Right now, some new leaves are growing on it. And meanwhile, it has this. Can you see this stuff growing on it? These aren't the leaves. This is another plant, actually two plants together that share the oak tree. And the oak tree lets them have some branch space to grow on and it's a lichen on the outside that pale green is the lichen and inside is a fungi a kind of mushroom so it's two plants one that covers the other and they both grow together on this beautiful oak tree Along with, along the trunk of the oak tree, we can find different kinds of moss. And lichen. I don't know if you can also see the mistletoe that's hanging off of the oak branches. And that mistletoe is a plant like the usnea that doesn't doesn't put its roots in the ground. It uses the branch of the oak tree to grow on. And birds eat the seeds. Birds some some creatures make nests inside of the mistletoe. Lots of things eat the usnea. So I think it's very kind of the oak tree to share its branches with so many other kinds of plants. And it keeps it very well decorated in the winter while it's waiting for its new, its own leaves to grow. So if this were our Monday walk, we would, we would spend some time in the Bay Forest, but we'd also walk all along this driveway down to just out of sight there, just around the turn of the road. Mm, here's some more lichen. This is an old lichen. You see a, you see a big circle? of lichen like this, you know that it's really old. That might be as old as a grandma or grandpa, that big patch of lichen. And it can grow right on the rock, just like that. If you look closer, can you see other colors? Little tiny spots, now those are not part of the rock. Those are alive. There's a sort of silvery gray one, and there's a kind of brownish one. I know this big one is the easiest to see. It has a kind of papery texture, and then the bigger parts of it almost look like mushrooms. But that's that's alive. That's one of the first kinds of plant life that that began. 
Well, I could stay out in this wet, wonderful weather all day, but now the wet wonderfulness is getting windy and I'm getting cold now that my gloves are wet. And so I'm going to head back to the warm fire and a new story to share with you. Okay, thanks for coming on the walk. Stay warm and stay well. Bye.